Extreme Trends presents This girl was stolen from her parents by monkeys. This is her 30 years later. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. There are many things that parents are afraid about once they have children, including how they will care for the child and whether they will be good parents. But perhaps the greatest nightmare of all for a parent is to have a child abducted. Some kidnapped children are rescued, but sadly some are killed and some disappear, never to be heard from again. This story is about a young girl who was kidnapped and the incredible creatures who helped save her life. Marina Chapman was a young girl born in the 1950s and raised by her parents in Colombia. Shortly before her fifth birthday, Marina was playing with pea pods in the garden of her parents' home. Suddenly, a strange truck pulled up next to her and some other neighborhood children playing nearby. She was grabbed by a man who placed a rag of chloroform over her mouth. Then the man threw her in the back of the truck with the other children. When Marina next woke, she felt large leaves slapping her face. She was hoisted over a man's shoulders and being carried through a Colombian jungle. Suddenly, a man in the group shouted. The group began to run, and Marina was dropped on the ground. Disoriented and exhausted, Marina carved out a small hole near a tree stump to curl up in and fell asleep. She woke up the next morning with the sun shining on her face. When she opened her eyes, she was surrounded by monkeys. The monkeys were curious about the little girl. Marina sat completely still as they came up to her, poking at her eyes and pulling on her. Eventually, the monkeys, their curiosity satisfied, left her alone. The girl waited where she was, thinking that her kidnappers would come back for her, but they never did. She screamed out loud until her throat hurt, hoping someone would hear her. No one ever responded, and Marina, not even five years old, was on her own in the jungle. Hungry and thirsty, Marina watched the monkeys around her and followed them. They were playing and grooming with each other, and scavenging for food. They ignored the girl who watched them. Marina started looking about for food to eat. Unsuccessfully, her stomach hurt, and she was lethargic, and then she found a pod full of a sticky fruit that she thought would be good to eat. The seeds in the pod were tasty, and Marina was so hungry she ate as many of the seeds as she could. Shortly after she filled her stomach, Marina Marina began to feel unwell. She began to experience severe, painful cramps in her belly, and she fell to the ground, writhing in pain. A short while later, an old monkey approached the sick child. At first, Marina was afraid he would hurt or kill her. The monkey, whom she called Grandpa, pulled at her arm and picked her up off the ground. Then he led her to some muddy water. Marina drank the water, vomited up the seeds, and began to recover. I was scared, but looking into his eyes, I understood that he meant no harm, she said. From that point forward, and for the next five years, Marina was accepted by the monkeys and lived amongst them. She learned how to survive by watching and mimicking their behavior. Marina learned to climb trees, to clean herself, and to determine what was safe to eat. Slowly, the monkeys adopted her into their group, allowing her to sit in the trees with them. Marina even learned to communicate with the monkeys using their high-pitched sounds and whistles. Thirty years later, Marina told her story in her book, The Girl Who Was Raised by Monkeys. But how did she escape the jungle and what happened to her afterward? When she was ten years old, Marina came upon a group of hunters in the jungle. Desperate for human contact, the girl approached them, grunting. Marina had lost all sense of her language during her time with the monkeys. The men took Marina out of the jungle and sold her to a brothel owner in a nearby town. She was forced to clean and physically beaten, but she managed to escape. Marina lived on the streets with other orphaned children and runaways. The children taught her human language, and as she grew up, Marina found a position as a domestic. Eventually, she was adopted by a kind family and sent to Bradford, England. There, Marina met John Chapman, a scientist. They married six months later and eventually had their own family together. For Marina, it was the start of yet another new turn in life, one wherein she had to learn to be a wife and mother while adopting to highly social human society around her. Unfortunately, Marina never reunited with her parents. However, she learned to survive thanks to the monkeys that showed her how to live in the jungle. That second family gave her the ability to find, create, and support her third family with Chapman. This story is an example of a terrible event that one strong, resourceful young girl was able to overcome. Thank you for watching. Tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing story.